This is where the Romans mined for gold and left us with something much more valuable. We are in Pomparada at the bus station. We just saw our first arrow and it's like 12.30, 12.40. The bus was late, so we gotta go. Just got our first stamp at the tourist office, which is open until two o'clock or so. We just made it. Because that's very important on the Camino. It's really loud right here, but this is the beginning officially of the Camino Invierno. So we go over the bridge, these beautiful mountains in the background. We're the only people on the Invierno today, according to the tourist office, which is hilarious. So there's probably more people, but let's go. It's day one of the Camino Invierno. We started at the end of February, February 27th. We're only walking 16K today because we took a bus to get to Ponferrada. So it's only kind of like a half day. We haven't seen anyone except for beautiful trees and snow. I don't think it gets much prettier than this. And uh, we're gonna keep walking until we get to... Via Vieja? I never know where we're going. <laughs> Camino, Camino, Camino. <laughs> just got our first Buen Camino from a local. Last bits of slog. It's been nothing but uphill for two kilometers, maybe more, which is, well, feels like a lot for the first day. <laughs> Gotta get our legs ready for this. Almost there. I haven't had enough food today. Ugh. Just got a castle over one shoulder, and then you got this. us too. Private Alberga tonight. I have no one else shows up, which I don't think they're going to. So it's already 6 30 p.m. We don't have any food. <laughs> we just have snacks and we knew there was no food here, but nothing was open anywhere we walked past except Pomferrada and we kind of just left Pomferrada in a hurry because our bus was late. So um we have the remnants of our lunch to eat and then <laughs> <laughs> I guess we'll save our apples for tomorrow, but I'm really glad we packed food for this first day because we were just not ready for this. Yeah, this alberga, you have to make a reservation to email or call them essentially a few days ahead of time to tell them that you're coming. It is a municipal alberga, but they don't open it for people unless 
you let them know. Then they give you this key code to the door and you just kind of punch yourself in and pay and stamp your own passport. So here we are. They warned us there was no food here. <laughs> There's a kitchen. We just didn't bring anything to make. Our fault. <laughs> the only ones here, which is really rare in Alpargue. So we're enjoying it by filling ourselves with dinner. I wanted to do the Camino in Vierno in winter because it's the winter way, so you're supposed to do it in winter, supposed to do it in winter. And there is snow outside those windows that I can see. Good morning. It is cold outside. We were really warm inside of the albergue last night. There were space heaters. We were so toasty. We made ourselves a cup of hot tea and it's time to uh, hit the road. Good morning. We're ready to walk. <laughs> it's a beautiful day. It's cold. Hooray. <laughs> That's the Mastiff that's a really big problem here. We returned the corner, he's not chained up. And we had to get our sticks out and really take a swing at him because he was coming. He's a big boy too, so if you're hiking here, you do need sticks and you do need to be very aware of that dog. I had to actually kind of run at him a little bit to get him to go away, so he's pretty aggressive. beautiful old chestnut trees and a freaking castle. <laughs> so it's a pretty good morning despite the giant dog. So this is Castillo de Cornatel and it was apparently founded by the Romans for their gold mining operations and uh, then it was into a medieval castle, a Templar castle. Uh, there's a bunch of mining around this area, so it was definitely created as a citadel for the mines. <laughs> but now it's just a beautiful old ruin. <laughs> it's a stunning sight as you're walking up the day before. You, you see it and it's just ridiculous little silhouette on the hill. It's very cool if you avoid the detour and you come up this way because you can bypass this without all the elevation gain. Mm. We're gonna walk right by it and take a look. And the sun is coming up. It's time to spin. <laughs> We're walking toward the most beautiful bench in the world. In the whole world. In Bierso. In the whole world. It's just Albanco, a really crazy claim. Mas, Albanco Mas Bonito del Bierso. All right, that means the most beautiful bench in the whole world. <laughs> My Spanish is flawless. Bierso. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> so the most beautiful bench in the whole world is gone. But we did go get to see a close up view of the castle, which is super worth it. What a morning. We're just looking at the mountains of Borda Castilla Leon and Galicia, and it's just insane. This castle behind us. We've gone very little distance because we just keep stopping. You've gone like nine meters. <laughs> Camino in Vierno is just. We're going to take the alternative route 
from Borones to Las Medulas. So um, we turned off in the town, off the Camino, to take this more scenic viewpoint. But longer. Yeah, it adds four kilometers to our day. So. <laughs> This alternative route without a GPS, I don't know how anyone could do it. There's just so much, so many junctions everywhere. A lot of really random little turnoffs yeah. that are kind of counterintuitive. With the app, it's no problem. Well, with the app, you can figure it out. Yeah. Solo, no app, you're gonna get screwed. This is the Wisely app. It said there's an alternative to the Medula so you can get this better viewpoint. I mean, it's been beautiful, but oh my gosh, I'm glad we brought snacks. Another day of no places to eat. <laughs> yeah. Barones, nothing was open. Yeah. So we're still on the food that we packed before mm. we started the Camino. So <laughs> hopefully there's something open soon or we're gonna get a little weird. <laughs> Can you help my apple core? Oh, they would love that. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Las Medulas. It's an old Roman mine where they used water to basically explode the cliff and then pan for gold and amongst all the pieces of debris. So what we're looking at is the result of Romans wanting gold and it looks so natural because of the water erosion methods and techniques that they used and it's just amazing to see. I think it's worth the extra four kilometers and elevation gain that we had to do to see this because this is what you see when you see a photograph of this place. That's like the whole alternative to this other viewpoint, but there's some rock slides and it looks like it's close. So there's another trail right here that literally says 1.1 kilometers to the town of Las Medulas and oh my gosh, we need food so badly. So let's go. <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> I mean, 
probably have enough since I hydrated with lots of wine, but like. <laughs> So the Camino Invierno, day two, uh, continues to kick absolute ass. So we're in another albergue. You'll notice. There are eight beds. No, no one else is here. Two of us. And He's, we have beer. They just give you a beer when you show up. <laughs> or whatever drink you want. Whatever drink you want, coffee, beer, tea. Look, oh, there's a little fireplace there. Yeah, we rolled into town. We called ahead. This is technically a municipal donativo. That's not so really there's a little municipal. donation. I think it's just a donativo. You're right. It's just an albergue donativo. Albergue so, Casa Rosa. There's breakfast in the morning. There's a little bracelet on your pillow with a seashell on it. Lainey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Holy cow. Camino Invierno is just, just chef kissing all over the place. It feels like part of that magic of the Camino. There's seashells decorating everything. And there's just this like welcome with just like pilgrims. Like we're here to take care of you. And I just feel mm -hmm. like, like I'm in someone's house instead of, which we kind of are, we're like in the living space, but they live upstairs. So we're going to take care of it. We'll treat it with respect. We're going to donate to pay for tonight. We can go eat some dinner in town in a bit. So take a shower first, wash my socks, wash my body. <laughs> Loving uh, night two on the Invierno. Cheers. Mm. Last day in Castilla y Leon tomorrow, we head to Galicia. really tough. What we see here is a pilgrim who lost their way and froze to death. And it's just really unfortunate. You see they don't have enough layers. They did bring their hat, which is great. Sun protection, very important. But no layers here, which is really what caused the problem. Great technique, nice hiking pole. Again, hat, hiking pole, both essential. But you do need to wear pants and a shirt or else this might happen to you. <laughs> There's snow in your hat. <laughs> this is so cute. There's a snowman right on the edge of town. I love this little, this little town's great. We had a lunch at this little cafe. We bought a postcard. Uh, it's really cute. Obviously very busy during the summer, but it's still open now. So come make a snowman in front of Roman mining ruins. <laughs>